Oh, that's gross. First thing we'll do is we'll go to digital section. We'll go to ethos. So now we've got the ethos wavetable. We put the wavetable position to 48. Now let's turn on oscillator B. Let's go to the analog section. Select basic shapes. Stay on the first basic shape. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to beef this up. We're going to turn the compressor on. Select multiband. Set the threshold to minus 11.2. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the A warp on oscillator A and select FM from B. We're going to stick it at 34%. Now we're going to go to LFO1. We're going to create a basic sustain ramp here, just like so. We're going to throw LFO1 onto the FM from B and put our blue dial down to 23, or down to 22 rather. And we're going to turn our trigger on and we're going to put the rate at two bars. You can extend the LFO1 sustain ramp to your liking. Now we're going to turn the filter on, go to the miscellaneous section, select the comb filter. We're going to put the frequency to 77 hertz, the resonance to 26%. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the EQ on and just give ourselves a nice high shelf by boosting the gain to 4 dB. Now in oscillator A and B, we're going to turn the phase and random both to zero. Next thing we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to, now we're going to turn the distortion on. We're going to keep it on tube and put the drive to 79%. That's, that's disgusting. And now, to, if you want to get even crazier with this sound, you can turn the sub on. Play around with your sub and keep the direct out off. And now play with the phase of the basic shape on oscillator B. I turned the phase to 125 degrees and got this sound right here. That's disgusting. Now look as I changed the phase, though. Oh, that's just disgusting. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to call it there. That's disgusting. Enjoy. Boom.